I think you guys don't understand one thing, you know. I'm just trying to be myself. I just want to stay original. I spit in my own language. People think I'm limited. <laughs> I don't believe that. I'm heading straight to the Grammys. Take it or leave it. It's a bitty. Lego. Got my money on my mind, my mind on my money. Don't even wanna go broke, it's not even funny. 24 7, yeah, I'm heading for a Grammy. Until the day a DJ play my song in Miami. Until the day a DJ play my song in Miami. Yeah, okay, I don't believe in hate. You can try to copy me. Alright, so. I guess you all know the face. I have the red bands on. You can see the beard. My name is S A R K O D I E. So I call you a bit of a pump in. So we're here in Miami. Something is about to go down. I have something for the fans team. Soccer there. Something. I keep telling you. Great. We're in Miami. Myself, the whole Success Music group. Angel, Terry, uh, my man, uh, Derek behind it. You already know. So it's going down. A collaboration. The video's about to pop up. And we're here to shoot. So big ups. Ghana, West Africa, World Connection. It's a soccer day, Success Music. We're in the building, Miami. Today, day one. Let's start. Let's go. It's hard to ever think you've made it. My past makes every level seem like there is more. I've never had a situation where I feel like this is it. I'm a total hustler. It's like every day on the grind. If you look at my recording sessions, I never wait till my songs go down. I don't have that time. I don't want to be in that space where I'm looking for a hit. I know myself. I will never be content. I will never get to a stage where I feel like this is it. Team Sark, Ghana, World, Africa. I don't want to stain what I worked so hard for. I will not be perfect, but I'm trying my best. I used to even listen to the radio and make sure that before they play a certain song to the end, I might have to write my verse. The, the collab here man I think it came in the right time why because and that's what I'm saying I allow God to work because if, you, if, you, if this was five six seven years back I would have not be that confident you know to take that on and that even comes from the vibe that that might even push ace back a little bit because I, I know how that feels like. It happens to me when I'm, when I'm working with somebody and the person is not too confident, I might just drop it. So just growing with that confidence over and over again till now, and then this came in. It just worked so perfect at the right time. I think at this point, this is what I was looking for, and as well as the fans and people back home. They're looking for opportunity like this for me. So I feel good for me and then for the people I'm making proud as well. And it feels super nice you know, to be recognized by someone like him. Still feeling great. I think it's a whole great experience. I think it's gonna be calm when everything is said and done. But now I'm still in the vibe, like I'm still in the mood, you know. We we actually witnessing history in the making. Ricky. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ricky. Everything else. We've been working with Ricky for close to a year now, trying to okay. make something happen. Yeah. So still in the vibe. I'll get in my beast element, you know, when we start recording, you know. But now you have Sarkozy on the low, just chilled and calm. Yeah, but we're listening to a couple of records. Yeah, but it's a great feeling. Big up to Success Music. Big up to Ivy League, my partner in crime. <laughs> my one and only soldier, Mr. Set. I respect him a lot for giving me the opportunity to even have um, this record, you know. And big ups to Team Sark. Still in the building, I'm going to be pulling bit. Face, finally, nice. Pleasure, my brother. Yes. Pleasure to meet you. Straight, man. straight. 
How we feeling? How we feeling? <sighs> Finally, you're here. You're yeah. Welcome to Africa. I was talking to your people. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. But you showed me um your Facebook with the uh, fan base thing. And mm -hmm. Ghana was on top. And it's true. Right, right. But they love you. I'm taking you back home. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Straight. Let's do it. Funny enough, it's like it was meant to be. <laughs> Is that, is that away is that Accra? From, no, it's away from Accra. It's mm. like a village, small town. Uh huh. I don't have the Accra yeah, show here. you have gone crazy. Yeah. I can't wait to hear this. I knew he was a good rapper. And me and, the, me and um, one of my guys back home was having that conversation. The guy was like, my verse, there is no way, there is no way anybody could kill that verse. But I said to myself, I've been following Ace for, for a while, and I think that guy's dope, so let's watch out. And trust me, he did it. You know, I heard it and I was like, am I supposed to even change the verse? Black man in a fucking beamer, got it tipping to him like a ballerina. Diamonds water, water like a Zocavina. Serving bitches like a new subpoena. Only pieces on my Cuban chain. Sell your soul and get a birth of fame. Bought some orders with the war, damage in the stores, damn, not a thing change. Protesting since an adolescent. Prison cells are getting too congested. Righteous living, fuck a suicide. Newer guys wearing suit and ties, bossing up instead of toting knives, shooting guys, prison time, stacking money, building enterprise. Be the one who niggas idolize. Count the money till my palms hurt. I remember it was way worse. Mama praying every day in church, being broken every second hurts. Trying to shine, boy, you gotta grind, ain't just waiting time, next side works. Good in the hood with my street ties. I can't say the same for the new guys. Ain't no peace in this world. The only one is on my Cuban chain. Sell your soul and get a birth of fame. Protesting since an adolescent. Yeah. Fucking with it. Fucking with it, y'all. Huh? Yo, I don't even know what to say, bro. Life on the real. This is dope. So this what you saying right here? That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I'm doing a song with Trey songs, I know I don't have to worry because he's just doing a hook. But this is Ace. He's lyrical. He's a beast. And I need to be Sack as well. So that was my whole vibe. Got one, baby. <laughs> it's one of the ones, man. Powerful. Straight. Dun, dun, dun. It's the connection. God bless us. Music is powerful, man. Mm. Thank God for music, baby. Way in Ghana, man, and, and for you to, yeah, us to be able to connect like mm. this, man, is God's work, you know. True. Yeah. South of my worst behavior, don't make me angry. Couple shots all in your dome, and that turned your shit to a stadium. So up in the building, me in the booth, about to do his thing. About to lay his four bars, about to lay my four bars down after he's done. So I'm gonna capitalize after, you know, after he killed his. Crazy record, man. I'm excited about it. I'm excited for y'all to hear it. Great record, man. I know it's something y'all gonna be able to appreciate. Ace Hood, Salt, you know, my homie produced it. <laughs> I'm crazy, man. Something special for the fans. Good nation. Let me do it. Getting too congested. Righteous living, fuck a suicide. Newer guys wearing suit and ties. Bossing up instead of toting knives. Shooting guys. Prison time. Stacking money, building enterprise. Be the one who niggas idolize. Ace with Aquaba. Sakas a hell of a nation. My sign in with Dean with Kumasa. My pimp. So, Nadia yeah, will be here confirmation. So, it's crazy out here, man. Shit is happening actually. You know, it's just like crazy. It's just a week ago. Just like a week ago. And we started this like joke like joke and finally we're here. And we're crossing borders. You know, this this not 
Ghana to Togo or Ghana to Nigeria. This is Ghana to the States. And I'm not recording with a cold artist. This is very relevant. You know, he is top in charts. He is all over the world. You know, I think it's a blessing. And I want to thank God. You know, I keep telling people that I never cry because I'm hurt. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird or something, but I don't. I never That's cry because right I'm sad. There, I cry because I'm blessed. That's the only time I cry. You know, I think after this, I'm just trying to keep it G, you know, keep a straight face. But when I get back to the hotel and think about it, you know, probably, you know, draw some tears, which is real. You know, I'm a true believer. I believe in God. I'm a Christian. And one thing I believe in, I think pastors don't even understand God. If you understand God, you will never be sad. You know, you'll never cry because you want something. I always see opportunities as it's going to come because he's the one driving. You know, you're probably just a passenger. You just have to shut up and just, you know, watch him do his thing. You know? okay. No rush. Just, this just came to me. You know, I didn't rush for it. And that's how God works. And that man up there, don't joke with him. Bless. Blessings on blessings. And I'll see. This is not me alone, no. we are with a witness. You see him? See him? Ace Food Sacco there. It's crazy. Yeah, well. Yeah. I'm that new guy. I've lived success music. Ace I'm the new guy. I made it from the slums back in Africa where most of my niggas committed suicide. Every story got a two side. Today was a blessing. I actually enjoyed myself. This is not like, you know. The connection was there, you know, Sako the Ace Hood, um, new guy, the new record coming, Africa, United States, connection. We just wrapped up the whole studio session, it went well, hot, hot record. And God bless America, God bless Africa. That's the thing. That's it. I don't interfere when God has to work. So, interfering is you trying to get it done. I allowed a natural bit of, you know, the whole situation to just run with it. And when it comes to what I do, and I take, I've, I've already talked about God, because that's, that's his job. What I do personally is, I figured out that if you stay true to yourself, no matter where you are, they're gonna gravitate towards you. Because people used to say, I have to rap in English from day one. And I was asking myself, okay, is this something that you are comfortable doing every time? If not, what's going to happen is you, you can impress someone with a verse and then they give you a, uh, a deal and a check to continue that verse. And then you have a problem. You know, so why don't you stay true till they believe in what you're doing? And that's what all the great people that we idolize, that's what they did from Tupac to Bob Marley and stand for something, stand for one thing. Just make your mind, this is what you want to do, which is hard for people to do. So then they are trying to impress and then it doesn't work. I can take criticism and what you think I'm supposed to do, but when I think this is true to me, I can stay focused on that for a very long time. I think that's what's working and it's paying off. So I think it's basically staying true to yourself and then you, you accumulate that whole years of sacrifice and then you meet up with your opportunities and then it makes sense. Hey guys, so it's like my third day in Miami and I'm in a tunnel, no I'm not in a tunnel, I'm on the way to Sarkodie's, well I'm actually there now, Sarkodie and Ace's video shoot for their song International Collabo, it's called New Guy. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys have a sneak peek. Are you gonna come with me or not? And let me give you a quick scenario of, of the idea I gave to myself when I chose to rap in tree. I said, Africans rap in their native language or whatever, but the delivery is, is the problem. So mostly when a, when a foreigner listens to it, mind you, they don't get what you're saying. So we have to be nice. So what do you work on? Delivery, timing. And if you have that, and you have the swag, that's it. And when I said it, it still didn't make sense at that time. But I saw that to be possible, because I saw reactions from Chinese when I, when I rap. They say the same thing, you know, so that's what I worked on over the years. And then I do it effortless because that's something I'm, I'm, I'm 
I'm comfortable with, you know, and I'm happy that someone like Ace, you know, still actually understands it. That makes me feel like, okay, that means we have a long way to go. We actually, we have more, you know, to go, yeah. Training him as the video scene goes on. Training him right here, you know what I mean? How you like America so far, bro? Right now, we at the Florida Film House doing the South Quade in a Ace Hood feature. Very hot track. And of course, um, I'm in the African attire from the motherland. I'm, I'm feeling like I'm at the motherland right now, but it's gonna be a very hot track. I'm grateful to be a part of it. Paul acting up, this is what we do. Florida Film House, South Kodé, Ace Hood. You just gotta wait for it, it's coming. Trust me, it's coming, it's coming. Putting the chains on here, it's, uh, it's all like symbolism, like the inner warrior being set free. So you want to take it off? Um, yeah. you so Ace is gonna get up, he's gonna like loose his, his chains going to be free. This inner warrior is set free. He's gotten to a place in life where, oh gosh, we've oh. been set free. Does that make sense? The track is hot. The video is going to be hotter. And when it's out, it's going to be hottest. I don't sit down to flashback. I'm just always trying to get it. You know, so the happiness people want to when you ask me happiness, I feel like I should have time to soak in what has happened. Then I'll be happy. But I do that. Recently, I started doing that, and then it makes me cry sometimes. I'm like, look at where I was and where I am today. And I can let go for a second and just feel free. But as I'm saying, as a leader, it's hard to, you need to always sacrifice that feeling for other people. Just try to always be on the move, you know? So yeah, but I'm happy if you ask me. Every second hurts. Trying to shine, boy, you gotta grind and just wait. Yeah. 
We here, man. The first shot for me was crazy. You know, the, uh, the rooftop scene, man, it's gonna be ill. I feel great about it. You know, the sun shining bright. I came in, you showed me some love, and I promised to build you a statue. It's, it's dope to get a real clean aerial shot. Me and the homies performing on that building. You know, right here in the city of Miami, Dade County. We did Broward County for life, too. You know, we just here, man, doing what we do. The connection is important, man. You know how it is. Ace Hood, Sakoda, we rock. Good nation. Success for you, 100, yo. Let's go, Success music. Bless. Trust me, you saw it for yourself, man. That's that's a shot. Actually, that's that's the video. That's it. It just that without even the 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 studio shots. I think we're good. That's the money shot, bro. You saw the connection here, and you said we actually do connect. It's crazy. It's not like it's false. It came naturally. You guys are actually enjoying. This this is the behind behind the scenes, the official one. Stay tuned. Shout out to the Ace Hood. Hey, what's up? This is Justin from Gorilla Films. We're all very tired, but Sock is amazing to work with. Ace, amazing to work with. And uh, we're happy. We had a wonderful day. It was a great shoot. And um, everything went well, according to plan. It wasn't a concept-based video, really. It was more of a stylized, artistic video because the song is, is, is quite dark and uh, also featuring Ace Hood. So here we are in Miami shooting a video, mostly in studio, but we did do a rooftop shot, which shows off Miami. And um, I think everything went according to plan. I'm happy. Uh, Candace, my wife, who works very closely with me, she's happy. She wrote the concept actually, and it's stylized most of it. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with, with, with how it went. Wrapped on time. To be a leader, first off, you have to be selfless, which is so me, you know. That problem is, uh, I don't know if I have to work on it, but then, naturally I'm selfless. I think about, I put people first before me. All these things I'm doing, trying to, whether I've been stuck money or get accolades or get applause, it's not, it's not for Saturday. If I want to make money, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking too much that just in case, you know, God forbid, something should happen to my mom, or my little brother has to go to school, or any of my team members has a problem. I need to be able to solve it, and that's my issue. And that's why I think I'm best when it comes to leading. I don't spoil myself, but ever since I became Sarkozy, I've never been like the all out person. Let me just celebrate because I'm Sarkozy. You can call me cheap, but it's not even me. It has to do with people. I'm thinking about what if something happened. I, I, I would like to be in a position to be able to solve it. And if it has to be with money, then I have to be very careful with my money so that I can always be there when they need me. You know, so uh, that's, that's to me what you're supposed to have as a leader, you know, to make you a perfect leader. And I think I qualify for that. I think I know how to manage stuff. I know how to be flexible when it comes to opinions from others, you know, and try to run with it. And I know how to think ahead of people. I can think 10 years from now and be scared from now. I don't wait till I get to a point. As I'm saying, even with records, I record a lot, so I don't, I don't have to be in a space where, because you do your worst songs under pressure. And that's when people fall off, because you are trying to hit, and that won't happen. Because in your, in your best mood, that's when you do your best songs. When I have a good um, era, I do the most I can, so I can stack them down. So good songs are waiting, and right time I'll just release it. And that takes a deep person to think that way. And that's, that's what makes me you know, a good leader, and that's what I think every leader should, should have. And if you don't have that, and you are all about yourself, then you need to make sure you're not in a way of fronting someone's life, being the leader, taking someone somewhere. You don't need to even go there. You have to be very selfless, and that's me. So I think that, that's what you need. That's the, the main attribute. This is my glasses issue. 
They were talking about it some time ago. They had a story. That why? Uh, um, it looks good. F to start with, it looks good. It looks good. And for a, for a minute, my eyes look tired because I don't sleep that much. So I, I hate it on camera. So that's one reason I hide it. But then it looks good. It, doesn't it look, look good? This looks good, right? But, 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 with the shades, do you know where it helps? When I perform and I get too much reaction from people, I cry every time. Almost every performance. That's when I do long shows. There's a point in time I break down. Because it's never normal from where I was and what I'm seeing. So then when I have the shades on, I'm able to get away with it because you don't notice it, you know? There was a performance, I think it's still there on YouTube, where uh, the girl came on stage you know, to kind of like, I don't know what she was doing, but I think something came on her and she came. And when I had there, and I was looking at her, what she, her reaction, and that made me cry. And that day, I was not lucky because I was not wearing shades. So what I did was, I just had to go to my DJ and pretend like I'm going to check on the next track, but I had to go and shake it off. <laughs> shake it off and just get back. So I think that helps as well, especially when I'm performing. To be best at what you do, you get lost in it. So then, the ups, downs, the sides, you know every corner. For every rapper, they have their formula. What I do is, I create the sound of how it's supposed to sound, without the words. So, when they do that, they get in the rubber, the dog, give me the gun in the back from the new ah. Stop doing it, don't in the name, down from the new ah. Ah, they get the duck and devil. You do that, sometimes you do a voice note. But right, I listen to it. It sounds dope, but how do you get words into it? Okay, and now you think about words. But you make sure it makes sense. Then you say it. It takes time, but that's my work. You know, since you don't have time, you have time for what you're doing. This is my job. Now, so, I got you, don't worry.